Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. And I've just tested the new Cobra King Forged One Length. You can check that out already on my channel. These now are the Forged Tour, which are normal golf clubs. The circus has left the town for a minute and we're going to talk about normal golf clubs again, where the lofts actually change, the lengths change, the lofts change, the lies change, um, back to kind of what is feeling more comfortable. Anyway. Let's get hitting. So, I've got seven, five and gap wedge to hit. I'm also going to do a head to head after this video with the single length and the uh, forged saw, which is variable length. Um, first off, looking at the club design, very good looking club. Um, cosmetically, it's just got the big king symbol at the back. It's just got forged tour and then like an orange detailing. It's got a bit of padding behind the bottom of the head and what looks like a little bit of tungsten weighting in the toe. This is the seven iron. This looks like a great looking club, very simple and classic. I like the King, I like what King have done back with Cobra again. It's brought back a little bit of, uh, a bit of class. Cobra kind of can sometimes go a little bit, whoa, Larry and crazy. Where I think the King just brings them back into a little bit of, of old school Cobra gear that they used to make. And it just puts a nice bit of, bit of uh, gloss and a bit of class back in the, in the product. Um, this is a good looking club. It's forged, so it should be soft metal. I'm gonna go seven iron first. Now, typically what you can always tell between the forged tour and the forged one length is the forged tour has a black lampkin grip where the one length has the blue and red. So you can kind of stand out straight away, which uh, potentially which one of your favorite Cobra players is playing with either variable length or they might just have the, they might just have a different grip change. You never know. We'll go off that track actually. Right, seven iron, 33 degrees of loft. Let's give us a hit. Yeah, that feels awesome. I do like these uh, these forged clubs from Cobra. They do feel superb. That's a great shot. I'll go one more with the uh, the seven. It looks very pretty behind the ball. Quite a classic looking design. A little bit of um, difference between the toe, the heel, and the face. Um, rendering almost the face has that slightly darker finish where the toe and the heel is much shinier it's a good looking club yeah great love the feel my only fear about these clubs they're going to get slightly overlooked because the uh the one length club is in town so kind of i feel like these are going to be a a forgotten club in Cobra's lineup. Let's uh, let's move on to five iron next. Now it's from the five iron and all the way down to the gap wedges where there's going to be the biggest difference between the normal forge tour and the one length. Now this is just a standard five iron length, um, five iron. What I found with the one length less lofty clubs, I didn't get any height. Let's see what the height looks like again with a, a standard length club. And I will do some head-to-head -head testing so we can actually see one length versus variable length on these sets. So that's more like the height I'm looking for. I've pushed it a little bit actually, that was a shame. But it feels like the proper height of a five iron again. I feel like I can generate more speed. Um, potentially not as straight as the one length clubs that I was hitting before, but it did feel like I got that height again. It does actually feel weirdly already after only hitting those for a short period of time. This feels long. This feels a bit longer than what I would normally see as a five iron. It's just my perception after hitting the one lens. But I can't substitute that height on the five iron. That is what I need in my life. Because without hitting into a long par four or a par, long par three, I need that level of... Uh, of height to get it to stop. That's why I think the, the longer five irons are gonna work a lot better for the guys who can generate a lot of club head speed. Let's go into hitting a few gap wedges. Now gap, the gap wedge of the one length really surprised me because it was longer. I picked up way more club head speed. This feels short now in comparison. Feels like I can control this club. Doesn't feel like it's, I'm gonna hit it a million miles. But what will the height and the spin numbers look like? So much less height on that. Will it go further because of it? Yeah, way further. 
way further than the, than the one length. Really, that is honestly one of the biggest shocks out of all of this testing, just initial testing I've done so far, is that seems to go nowhere. I mean, 9,300 spin is a very good gap wedge spin number. The one length, I was getting over 10,000. I mean, crazy numbers. That came out a lot lower, typically went further with less spin because I can't generate quite as much club head speed with a, uh, the gap wedge. So much lower height. One twenty odd again. Oh no. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, just over that one twenty mark. I think it carried at one twenty and then just spun back a, a yard. See what the club head speed on that is actually. Just want to see one number. Yeah, club head speed on that was eighty four point five miles per hour. The one length, when I look back at it, it was almost nearly ninety miles per hour. The same club head speeds I'd generate with the seven. Now. Going back to just the Cobra King Forge Tour, I really do fear that these clubs are going to get forgotten about. They are a beautiful set of golf clubs. But when they've got a Larry brother who's going to get all the attention, these guys are going to get completely forgotten about, which is a real shame. If you do like the forged one length, and but you don't like the one length, they're definitely worth trying these Forge Tour, the, the standard lengths. Um, good looking clubs, very simple to hit, um, very... Nice feel off the face, feel very soft, good looking clubs. But again, I think they're just gonna get so overlooked by their one length brothers at the moment. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click thumbs up, comment below. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the standard length or the variable length? No, they're the same. Do you prefer the one length or the standard lengths? Let us know, or do you think one length is gonna become standard length? That'd be so interesting to find out. Who's gonna, what manufacturer is going to follow suit. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have, click thumbs up. We'll see you soon.